G'day ladies and gentlemen, the Butts Barney here. I hope you're doing real well. And let me just start off this video by stating this very, very clearly. This video is not political. This video is about the bullshit that we are constantly being fed by the news and the media outlets that we know. The ones we grew up with. The ones that are so deeply implemented into our society that we take everything they say as gospel and don't question it. We have been listening to their bullshit for long enough and I've got a prime example of the absolute rubbish that these people carry on with. Now I don't give a shit if you're a liberal supporter, a Labour supporter, a Trump supporter or a bloody flat earther, alright? I don't give a rat's dick, alright? At the moment, this video is not about any of that shit. Now if you're new to this channel, you may not be aware of the long running feud that I've had with the project. I've talked a lot of shit about them in the past, particularly their hosts Lisa, I blame Man Wilkinson, and, and Waleed award winning dick sniffer Ali. Waleed and his other hosts, and, and particularly people like former comedian Peter Hellier, they carry on with absolute bullshit constantly on this program, and it is hilarious to watch. They have a very, very strong political agenda, they are very far left in everything they do, they promote social justice warriors, they, they freak out about every single time there's a fucking a little bit of a heat wave, and they blame poor little old ScoMo. Listen, ScoMo's handled this fucking climate climate crisis and all that shit terribly, but I'm pretty sure it's not his fault that the fucking industrial revolution happened, or that China and busting out more CO2 than anybody ever has ever, ever. They carry on like Greta Thunderberg is the second coming of fucking Jesus, and they walk around like their soy latte ridden shits don't stink. But I tell you what, Waleen, your sauté, sauté, your soy latte ridden shit does stink. It fucking reeks. And it stank real bad on Christmas Eve. <laughs> because the project played this particular news clip. Now this news clip was taken from some footage that they had of a rural fire service meeting that Scott Morrison, the Australian Prime Minister, attended. Now ScoMo, which we call our Prime Minister here in Australia, uh, walked up to a lady and was introduced to this lady who happened to be a part of the rural fire service and the lady responded in turn. This is what they ran on 10 and what host Waleed Ali. And I know what you're probably thinking. Isaac, you've taken that footage from Sky News and Sky News are Okay, they are the Fox News of Australia. They suck Scott Morrison's dick so hard, I'm pretty sure they gave him a blumpkin at Engadine Maccas in 1997. That's why there was shit everywhere. They fucking love this bloke. But I think they're sort of right on this occasion. They saw an opportunity and they pounced on it where the project had fucked up. Had to say. Jackie, this is my It's not my problem. So, from that footage, we can only assume that this young lady was very, very upset seeing ScoMo. Maybe she was annoyed that he had been on holidays the week before. And as I said last week, ScoMo, terrible time to go on holidays, you fucking dickhead. The lady is introduced to Scott Morrison by this other gentleman who says, this is your Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, and she replies in turn by saying, not my Prime Minister. And that is where the project cut. The clip. They edited the clip in a way to say to the audience that that was the end of the conversation, a gotcha moment, a grab them by the pussy moment, something etc. And everyone in the project's office collectively came in their pants. But you see, there was far more to the story than that. You see, the conversation didn't end there at all. The conversation kept going. Jackie wasn't pissed off at ScoMo. She wasn't angry at ScoMo. In fact, she was British. And when she was introduced to ScoMo as your Prime Minister, she said, no, not my Prime Minister, because my Prime Minister is Boris Johnson. Because I'm not from Australia. What the fuck, Wally? You lied to us. How dare you, you bastard? Don't get me wrong, Jackie could have just said hello and just got on with her life, but no, she had to carry on like a pork chop. Anyway, doesn't matter. Waleed has fucked up massively in this position. And you might even suggest that it's not Waleed's fault. It's the writers on the show. No, 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 no. He said it. He said it, so it's on his fucking shoulders. Now, am I a ScoMo fan? No. I think all politicians are fuckwits. Could you imagine wanting to get into politics? What the fuck is wrong with you? Although I am running for Prime Minister and the, uh, the, uh, the, the signatures uh, for the change.org page recently hit 30,000. So congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. We're making a change in the world. But for the project to go out and so blatantly push their own political agenda, lying to the public, lying to the people, the massive audience that they have, 
you just got to look at that and go, what else have they been lying about? They went on to apologise for actually what happened, and this is what Waleed had to say. Like last night we brought you a clip from an RFS volunteer called Jackie. Here's a reminder of that clip. Jackie. <laughs> uh, now we need to make a correction uh, in relation to that clip. It turns out that there was a longer exchange between Jackie and the PM that followed that, uh, where she explained that she was in fact a UK citizen and that that's why ScoMo was not her PM quote. The problem for us is that significant parts of that were inaudible, so we couldn't actually deduce what was in that exchange. Yeah, I'm sure you couldn't pick that up in your, your 50 fucking microphones you had lying around the room, and not to mention that you probably, your camera saw them having a longer conversation than you captured on camera. Oh yeah, I'm sure you didn't capture a thing, Wally. We spoke to the Rural Fire Service today. Uh, Jackie wants to be crystal clear. The comment was meant to be lighthearted. She has no issue with the PM. Um, so this was clearly not a deliberate mistake on our part. It was, however, a mistake nonetheless. We think it's important to own up to your mistakes and come clean about these things. And so we take full responsibility for it. And we hope that clears it up. I've been on the end of this as well with the project. The New Zealand version of the project had me on in 2018 and they used the same tactic with me. They used it as a gotcha moment. They were like, oh, we got him. We got him. But that wasn't the case at all. Do you target a specific audience, Isaac? I mean, do you worry who sees the videos? Would it be suitable for my seven-year-old daughter, for instance? Suitable for your seven-year-old daughter? Are you fucking kidding me, mate? Uh, certainly not, but uh, you as a parent should be in control of what your seven-year-old's watching. There's far more worse things, far worse things, rather, uh, on the internet than poor bearded old me. Thanks, Isaac, you jerk. <laughs> See you guys. Bye-bye. Now, you may be wondering, that lady called me a jerk and I just said thanks guys and smiled politely. That's not how it actually happened, that's an edit. Um, I did hit her back with something, some type of joke, I can't remember. I should have recorded it just for uh, these type of purposes, but this is the thing with TV, is they can edit it to make them look fantastic. They thought they made a fool out of me because they had the balance of power. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? The status quo is changing and the mainstream media does not have that power anymore. Look at the video from the New Zealand Project. They usually get like, I don't know, 15,000, 20,000 viewers, maybe 100,000 on a big episode. That video that I made had 1.8 million, you cock smokers. And just can we go back and have a look at Waleed's face during that apology? He is fucking pissed off that he has to say that. And I can deduce another thing from just witnessing that, that Waleed, just like the Queen, and just like the Clintons, is in fact a reptilian. Yep, that's right ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first, Waleed Ali is a reptilian. Ladies and gentlemen, to end this video, I just wanted to say, as I've said before, don't believe everything you hear, you see, you read, don't do that, that's fucking stupid, alright? Alright, go out and find this information for yourself. It's widely available on the interwebs, go out there and then compare the data that you come back with. Don't just believe everything you hear, except when it comes to shit I say. I'm fantastically wonderful and well researched. And also, I don't have an agenda. I'm not trying to push anything on you guys. Except for... Of course, merch. I got the finest merch in the game. It's fucking 100% Egyptian cotton. Not at all. Uh, it's made from sweatshops. Uh, it's quite cool. I like it. It's a nice it's movie with some stuff on it. And uh, it's available on my website right now. There's only about 200 left. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Me dick stinks. And fuck the project. Bye.